Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 19th of December 2020. Almost in 2021. Anyway, um, 10.25 at Greenwich Mean Time. And there will be a lot of continuity errors. Day, night, headset, no headset, microphone, which you can just see there. Um, but this room is still echoey. So who knows? Um, and uh, oh, me repeating myself. Sometimes, however, it does bear repeating. So, this is a look back on weekend in Saturday the 19th of December and it's various bits and pieces and things that happen during the week. So, let's get straight down to it and the word of the phrase of the week. And this was difficult, so it's sort of too. Lost the dressing room. Lost the country, actually. And... Or ready for next year, lockdown 2021. Yeah, already looking forward to 2021. And I'm sure you are too. Anyway, on with it. Well, hello. Firstly, this is quite fun. Secondly, Tuesday the 15th of December 2020 time 1717 hours Zulu yeah so first of all I'm live streaming on Saturday I enjoyed it it took quite a long time to set up and it wasn't the first go at streaming but once I was into it I was away However, why have I gone back to this segmented, continuity, error-prone production? Basically, because I can remember things better. Um, Tuesday, I only have to remember one, two, three, call it four days. Um, whereas at the end of the week, I lose that nuanced interpretation of what things have done. Plus, darkness. Anyway. Um, so I'll continue to do it this way for a while and occasionally I'll do a live stream or maybe I do a stream from the iPad and hopefully at some time in the future live from somewhere else like a pub with fast Wi-Fi anyway um Sunday I was thinking uh, Christmas whatever so I ordered some beer from the Hereford beer house Fun fact, it came today, and it's very, very good. Also, after I'd done that, I saw an advert for Wylam, um, the brewery in Newcastle, and they were doing uh, an F2026 uh, for 40 cans and a glass, and I just couldn't. I had to, so I ordered that. And they also came today. However... And here's a bit of positive. It's really easy to criticise delivery drivers, but a Joe from DPD, um, they usually ask you to rate them. Um, I've rated him very highly in the past. I was 147th on his deliveries today. And he said to me, I think one of your bottles is smashed. I said, it can't be, they're cans. So we opened the thing up and one of the cans near the bottom was punctured. I don't know how it happened because it was full of cardboard and the outside cardboard was all intact. And uh, he said, do you want me to um, take it back? So I said yes. And I pinged off Wylam an email because um, if the cans are defective, they'll need to know. However, they make wonderful beers, absolutely wonderful beers. And the glass was intact. <laughs> oh, uh, anyway, it was next working day delivery. <sighs> Such a day. Anyway, um, so I have the Hereford Beer House beers. And they are a magnificent collection of world beers. I think I'll start with those on Saturday. Well, I'm tempted to have a crack at those today 
So, moving on. Um, news, politics, COVID. Like with social media, it's not always the first post that is the good one. It's usually in the um, in the comments or the story or whatever. I was looking at Wales Online, uh, which is rather poor, and they were talking about Mr. Drakeford. <laughs> and someone in the comments said, he's lost the dressing room. And I thought, yeah, that's just summed it up. He has lost the dressing room. He aggrandized, I can't even say, aggrandized himself um, in July and when we came out last of lockdown and our figures were really good and what a good job I've done. And now the first six counties in the UK for cases are all Welsh. By the way, I'm in number six, which is Caerphilly. And he blames the public for that. And of course, it's the public's fault because we're all responsible. However, he didn't say, oh, it's the public have done really well in July. He took the credit. Yeah, not really a good person. And um, there's a new COVID variant. Don't panic. Apparently, and I always thought there were two variants. Um, but the new one is just slightly different and it seems to be just as virulent and just as, well, just seems to be just the same, but slightly different. So I'm not panicking. And uh, Mr. Gove is talking to Mr. Drakeford and Nicola Sturgeon and the two people from Northern Ireland about cancelling Christmas. I had a feeling that Christmas was going to be cancelled anyway. These are the things. Anyway, so that's Tuesday. Uh, we still haven't had Mr. Drakeford's announcement and about an announcement. And we had Mr. Vay guessing, announcing yesterday, not very much. We are living in interesting times. It's Thursday. Thursday the 17th of December 2020, time 1725 Zulu, a week today Christmas Eve, which I'm also on leave, I think we're all on leave to be perfectly honest, but meh, anyway, I forgot to mention last time, uh, Monday night, iOS, iPad OS 14.3, updates to Big Sur, Catalina, and for me, I can't think of what it is, but there was an update. Um, it was a security update, uh, Mojave, that's what I was using. Um, an update to security and an update to Safari, um, also tvOS and various other bits and pieces. I think I found a bug. Some of the notifications on my iPhone, they are semi-transparent. Some are just fine. I don't know what. Anyway, um, no effect on battery life so far, which I consider to be a positive. Although there wasn't a whole lot of new stuff for me. Uh, I think the biggest thing was all the camera stuff for an iPhone 12. Mine on my iPhone was about 600 megs, but it took almost an hour to install. Longer on my iPod Touch, which was a tiny update. Oh, Anyway, um, they're all on there, they're all working, and it's happiness and joy all round. Did I mention my cans from Wylam? One of them was punctured. A tiny little puncture. Um, Joe, the delivery driver, said... We got glass in here. I said, no, they're all cans. So opened the thing up. There was a glass inside there, but it was a Wylam glass, and that was intact. And I pulled all the cans out, and they all looked fine, except for one. It had a, a tiny little puncture near the bottom. And the only reason you could tell it was a puncture because there was beer bubbling out of it very slowly. And it had um, got out through the cardboard box and stained it, and Joe took it away. I contacted Wylam straight away, had a reply in the morning, various others back and forth to explain the full situation. 
and this morning I've had a notification from them that Joe will be bringing a replacement tomorrow, Friday, a week before Christmas. Um, I call it Mad Friday. Sometimes it's called Black Friday, but it isn't going to be. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that, and Joe knows where to put them, I hope. He's a good boy. Anyway, um, recommend DPD, because they are very good drivers. So, uh, Mr. Drakeford. <clears throat> And I mentioned about the landers and uh, losing the dressing gown, dressing gown, <laughs> dressing room. Um, there was more and more talk um, about Christmas and the Christmas relaxation and such like. And they all got together. And instead of agreeing everything, Wales went their own way. So family bubble down to two. Uh, and you can have persons from a single household with you if you want uh, and that's going to be written into law and today there was supposed to be a review of pubs and restaurants and closures at six o'clock and alcohol sales i've heard nothing about it i suspect nothing we are going to be in what's called the all new tier four because that's one more than england have they only go up to tier three um, as from the 28th, shops and gyms and stuff, when they close on the 24th, they are going to reopen. There's no date for when it finishes. I remember three weeks to save the NHS, and then three months later, we were still in it. I'm working on the principle of March the 1st, St. David's Day. Yeah, um... January and February are always bad months anyway. Um, Weather-wise, and they're gloomy, and they're grey, and they're dark, and they're cold, and now they're locked down. Anyway, uh, apparently it's not his fault, as you would expect. So, um, that's something to look forward to. That's our Christmas. However, as you can tell, I like a good moan. I'm rather grumpy and curmudgeonly. However, I saw something this afternoon that really cheered me up. It was the true spirit of Christmas. I can't tell you that much about it, but it was a PowerPoint. And Merry Christmas to Ty, because Ty was excellent. And he's got a really good voice. He, uh, if the mix is slightly off to one side, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, because it was good. It was very good. Anyway, um, so, yeah. Be a replacement. Tier 4 lockdown from the 28th. And the week today, Christmas Eve, and I'm off. You win some, you lose some. Next one of these, Saturday. See you then, probably in the light. And the last update of the week. And look what I've got here. Greyhounds don't like jazz from Wylam. It arrived last night. Um, 7.1% alcohol by volume. A sour IPA. Completely different, completely excellent recommend me can't even say it and i've only had half a can i recommend wylam anyway so what have we got to finish the week off with um i don't know if it's anything to do with mind geek that's the parent company of a specialist or a number of specialist niche websites um but bitcoin has gone over twenty thousand dollars per bitcoin Hmm, um, it does vary a lot and encourages people to speculate on it, but I think it's getting close to being a real currency, even if it is to pay for your niche website, who knows. And the big news in Wales Online on Friday 
what with all the things that are going on and the lockdown and I'm going to update you on pubs was the canal through the centre of Cardiff um, I don't know if you're aware but down the centre of Churchill Way that's where the canal is it comes out um, between Cardiff Queen Street and Cardiff Central Stations and they are going to open it up again how long before someone falls in it how long before there are tons of shopping trolleys in it someone drowns or even a bus crashes into it I can see it now given all the other things that are going on I do not consider it to be a priority however Cardiff City Council yeah hmm talking of things 2020 and I didn't see this for the other mobile providers um, it was in I think it was in mobile review or ISP review the average data use for three UK users throughout the year per month has been 15 gigabytes now three has always said that it was the network for data use even if it has been rather abysmal over the last 18 months um, but that's pretty good going I think a lot of people are tethering I think a lot of people are tethering to streaming services and that's probably why its speeds are so slow during the daytime we are a mobile world sort your network out three and not just the 5 genus honestly come on right um also 2020 the verge uh the vox a website out of i think it's new york city um which was started by some engadget alumni and joshua topolsky who's now gone and i miss um the word of the year or the tech of the year was webcam i have to agree yeah apple the new m1s 720p let's make it better by using software however use your camera um a droid cam or such like or even camo that works although back in april and may the world had run out of logitech and if you could get hold of one extortionate there you go so yesterday Friday the 18th the last Friday before Christmas usually known as depending on where you are either black or mad Friday I have to say I didn't miss it tons of people who don't usually go drinking packing out pubs so you can't get a seat and you can't see what I'm going for I'm an early morning drinker I'm not keen on people apart from people watching don't enjoy Black Friday anyway. I more enjoy Greyhounds don't like jazz. <laughs> right, and also Christmas quizzes going around the office. I know people mean well, but uh, I really, they're not for me. That's what I'm trying to say. And I think I mentioned about a, a Welsh Assembly government, whatever they call themselves this year, and they are getting a pay rise in May and like their colleagues in Westminster we're doing a review into alcohol sales and such like long story short yeah pubs might not be open until at least March and yeah um, and they did say that the biggest problem was people at home having house parties so let's close the pubs where they've spent most of the year putting in plexiglass and doing things like um, waiting service and such like to keep people apart and I know let's close them so people all go around the houses which the Welsh government said already was the problem and this will make it worse so pubs will go out of business eh, out of business breweries will go out of business and the economy will be even worse as I said before and these are public health England figures not Wales because you can't find them pubs cases 1.6 percent hospital cases 3.6 percent 
makes you think. Really does. Anyway, that is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 19th of December. I'm going to take all these bits together and I'm going to put them on the Mac. And I'm going to use iMovie. I think it's iMovie. I'm going to do it on the Mac because I saw a Screencast Online um, tutorial about it and I'd forgotten about it. So um, who knows when I'll get it up. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, comments as usual, positive and negative. I'm not really sure if I'll do a full live stream again. Probably end up with fewer continuity errors. Who knows? Anyway, um, Merry Christmas in these difficult times to everybody. Bye-bye.